motorcycle will change lane while making a turn is 65%. Suppose a random sample of five motorcycles are observed making a turn at Fordham Road in Jerome Avenue intersection. Find the probability that no more than four motorcycles will change lane while making the turn. So what I are going to so I'm going to use a binomial probability distribution table. We can use calculator. We can work it out by using the binomial formula. But this time I'm going to show how to use the binomial distribution table, which is the easy way of doing. Well, before we use so what is the binomial distribution table? So this is the binomial distribution table. As you see, it has this is the formula and it has n sometimes you have x or n the p so these three things we have to know we have to identify these three things okay so 65 percent let's take a look here what are the information so 65 percent that's the p that's p and this is a fixed trial so that's the n well, i'm going to put down here that's the n so this is going to be my n fixed number of trial and this no more than four bicycles. So seems like this one is telling us we cannot exceed four, okay? We cannot exceed four. So that would be my X or that would be my R, a small letter X or a small letter R. So once we know this, we can actually pull out the information, actually, or use the formula table. So. Uh, as you see, n is a fixed trial, n is a fixed trial, so the n is equal to 5. And of course, we know the phi, which is 65%. So we know the phi is 65%. So this one is no more than 4 motorcycles. So I want to check out here something very clearly. So we have a trial. How many trials? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 trials. Remember, that's the 5 maximum trial going on. Okay, so they're saying that I cannot go over no more than four, no more than four. So that is basically, well, actually, that should be zero here also. Okay, so this is the number of trial we look into here. So, well, we can come up with basically at least, well, so I'm sorry, more than four. So probability of no more than four is equal to x less than or equal to 4. Why is x less than or equal to 4? Because they said no more than 4. We cannot exceed, we cannot include 5 here. So it's basically all of this. 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Not those numbers, the probability you're going to add. So this is x less than or equal to 4. So the x value must be on the left side all whatever entries so is equal to I can say probability of 0 plus probability of 1 plus probability of 2 plus probability of 3 plus probability of 4 then we are ready to go check it out our binomial formula plus x equal to 1 plus x equal to 2 plus x equal to 3 plus x equal to 4 this is what probability of x less than or equal to 4 or no more than 4 no more than 4 so that's what that's how we actually expand it coming from here actually so we have 1 2 3 4 so 1 including 0 1 2 3 4 okay now we can go to the binomial probability distribution table so how we do that go to n which is a 5 probability 65 and that is going to be the x or r depending on which book has what kind of formulas set up some book has r r as a specific number of success in an uh, in n trial or x is a specific number of success in n trial and phi stands for probability of a success in n trial and obviously n is the fixed trial so let's take a look here so we have n phi and as we see down here we're going to go this one this one this one this one this one we're going to pull those out from the binomial table and we just add those up so where is the binomial table and how we read it so n is 5 so we go down here n is 5 
if you look into n is 5 here you go so that's the n is 5 and this one represent to the right side if n is 5 will 5 maximum including 0 so this is x or r it doesn't matter what is given so you look into that now we can go with 0 all the way to 4 so but where should we stop look at there so many numbers are there so we go this row here this row here is basically for probability so our probability in this case is 65 percent so we are lucky we have a 65 percent probability so then what we do we go down here and obviously we go four and just get all those this is basically what we have we should have well i'm gonna have to move it so this is gonna be one That's it. So this is the probability we are going to need. So again, how do you do that? We go n, which is a 5. And of course, then x is a limited. We're going to go 0, 1. We add all of this actually up to 4. We don't include 5. Why? Because we cannot go more than 4. They said no more than 4. So that's what it is. And we come off here under 4.65 because that's the p okay so we have everything ready less than zero we clearly see all of this and we take any calculator this should give us approximately 0.83 now we can do a little bit different oil also we can do a little bit different oil what is that we basically use the at least concept so what is at least concept at least concept is probability of no more than one is same as probability of r less than or equal to one or one minus probability of x equal to five because we know everything just only one thing look at this here so if we can somehow we know total is going to be one if we can somehow subtract this last one we can get answer clearly so we don't have to do all this we can just use this concept here so if you use this concept here probability of 1 minus probability of x equal to 5 so what is probability of x equal to 5 let's do this here so in this case we're looking for x equal to 5 in other word we go under 65 we go under 65 and we look into x equal to 5 which is 0 0.116 0 0.116 this is the one we are interested in now this time 0 0.116 0 0.116 and we're going to subtract this one from 1 which is very the same thing actually so we basically have to subtract 1 minus probability of Five, and once we do that we get the same thing well clearly you see a little bit of because of roundup actually otherwise it's basically the same thing so we can do both ways the top way or on the bottom way but again if you know at least means you can do that also one minus probability of at least one which is in this case probability of x equal to five that's how we use binomial distribution table and that's how we pull out the information from an odd problem and find the probability.